Hey folks, what's our CTA? So, um, I was trying to decide where I was going to nap, and uh, I got this piece of Ocean Wave Jasper. I guess what it is. I've never napped a piece of this. It's a beautiful piece of rock, though. And this was uh, a, a friend and viewer, Eddie. Um, he brought this to me at the Cato Ridge Nap Inn and asked me to nap this. So, it is a pressure slab. And we were going to pressure it into uh, into a blade. And I took a couple of couple of flakes here. And about the furthest I could get was about three quarters of an inch. And I was laying into it pretty good. So in order to, to make sure I got across it, I trimmed just a little bit off the top right here. Um, to narrow it down a little bit. Because it was two and a quarter inches wide. It's about two inches now. Um... I was just afraid I wasn't going to make it to the metal, and I haven't tested this part down here to see how it's going to flake. It may flake better than this. I'm not sure, but we're just going to flake this, and then we're going to, we're going to do a. When I do pressure slabs, I I don't normally do fog. I I have done fog, and I'm actually thinking about doing a video doing some fog, but uh, I like to do grind over flake, is what I tend to call it. I don't know if that's really a thing, but it's my thing, and it uh, gives you a big old. Uh, Bigger, bigger flake scars, uh, random big flake scars. I've showed it before on some videos on here, and that's that's how I prefer to do it. Um, just a personal preference. You can do it however you want. But uh, that's how we're going to do this one. So <coughs> let's get after it here. The first thing I'm going to do is rough this thing up. on all the edges. And I know something else I'm going to do this time. Over the last video I shot, I'm keeping my big head out of the way. I, uh... was pretty frustrated with that last one. People said it was okay, but I was pretty frustrated with it. So, let's see here. Now, I'm laying this pressure flaker right up here on the edge, spacing my flakes, and I'm giving up a lot of inward pressure. You can see how far that came in there. I'm space my flakes. My dog's knocking my tools over. And you can probably, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this issue stick really gets to bending now that flake actually came all the way down to here so that's pretty nice that makes me feel better oh that was a short flake that's not good all right so we have a delta here i'm going to come back on it Ugh. Yeah, that's not, that ain't good. Hmm. Well, we were doing good till we hit this material right here. Yeah, it's not one to flake on that stuff. Not on the white. Not want to flake on the white. All right, I really need to lay into this one. Didn't make it over to it. I've gone it. Uh, 
All right. Well, we're already starting off with some difficulties here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get across that or not. Well, I got up in that dude that time. Ooh, that one fell short though. When I'm doing these pressure slabs, I want the first pass to completely clear. That's the object. Sharpen this back up and try to concentrate the force in one spot here. to get all the way across it anyhow but it wasn't easy Yeah, we cleared it all. And we'll try and clean some of this up when we come back for our next pass after we grind. No pressure at all. He gave he gave one of these pieces to Jim Redfern, and uh, Jim napped it for him. So there's no pressure here at all. <laughs> Just napping here against the one of the best in the world. <laughs> Not really. <clears throat> sort of. Yeah, I'd been talking to Eddie for a while, back and forth, and he was going to try and come by here one time. I wasn't going to be here, but uh, he lives over in that direction somewhere. There's a crystal pocket right there. That could give us a little difficulty towards the edge.
Ooh, that dude just did not come out of there. I think they're actually getting trapped in the pad. Um, those flakes are coming off big and wide, and I think they're actually getting trapped in the pad. Let me see if I got a wore out pad here. This one's got a wire slot in it. Let's see here. Yeah, that went way on across it. That one didn't go as far. That was the problem. Or part of the problem was the flakes were wider than the slot and getting trapped there and not fully releasing. I'm not sure who you got this material from. Someone there at the nap in. I've never seen any of it or I probably would have got some of it. I didn't have nearly as much time to run around and check things out as I, as I wanted to have. Um, and I didn't get to do much napping or spend much time with people napping. Um, a little bit, but not too much. But uh, I am going to be at the uh, um, Nibless Bluff Nap in, and I already put, I put, matter of fact, I booked my uh, camping spot today, so I'm going to show up on, I guess it's, I think I'm coming in on Thursday, something like that, leaving on a Monday, something to that effect, yeah. And I'm also going to, right now, I'm going to be at, uh, I'm gonna, so I'm going to be at Niblets. I'm going to be at Sa J Jim Redfern Sack River uh, Nap Inn. I'm going to be at the Fall uh, Water Creek Nap Inn. And at the uh, Renegade uh, Nap Inn in uh, Mena, Arkansas also. So I'm going to take this over there and grind it. And then I'm going to come back. I'm not, I'm not going to show the grinding part. That's just real loud. You don't have to move everything. But I'll come back and we'll see if we can... Clean this thing up a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now, uh, when I went over there to grind this, there was a chunk of this that just fell out. I mean, it just, it did. I thought it overshot, but it didn't. This was just crunchy and it just kind of fell out. So hopefully that's, I had to grind that down some to get it, get it, uh, to get rid of the bad stuff that was right there. Hopefully that's not a continual problem. Or this could be over before it could be over for it. Let's see, let's keep my big head out of it. I'm watching that monitor today. I don't want no more of that. I spent so much, I mean, I deleted so much of that video, and then none of the commentary made any sense, and I don't know. I was really leery about that, but I was afraid I wouldn't have another piece like that for, from John to do that with, so. It wasn't just a bifish, you know, it was a complete preform. It was basically ready to press the flake, which is what you all seem to do. So. Alright, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's see what happens there. It'll either work or it won't.
And you want to make sure you're spacing your flakes when you're doing this. And part of that is it gives you a second chance to come back and get something that didn't that didn't go, you know. Break out, don't break out. <laughs> oh, it survived it so far. Nice. Sweet. It's going to be a beautiful blade if I get to the end of it. Come on now. I was having a problem getting hold of that. I'm going to sharpen this again. Yeah, it's a pretty piece of stone. then that is a tremendous amount of pressure I'm putting on that I mean a lot well here we go with the crystal pocket let's see what happens here yeah, flake through it most 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 for the most part flake through it has shrunk a bit. I'm going to go through here and pluck these uh, deltas off.
This is actually the first piece of material, I think, that a viewer has uh, given to me to nap. Of course, I'm sending them to point when, when it's done. Well, I was honored for him to ask me to do it. I hear the Canadian geese fixing to go land in the pond. There's about a hundred of them in there the other morning. be that way. It is a little bit tough. I don't know if that's just the way this ocean jasper is, ocean wave jasper is or what, but it is a little bit tough. This side is better than this side, but some of this should clean up in this pass. We'll see. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what material you're doing, we're all going to have a different challenge. But if you're doing a whole bunch of one material, you kind of get used to it. But when you... Uh, Just have one piece and never actually napped it before. It's like getting thrown in a, not being able to swim and get thrown in the deep end of the pool, I guess. Might not be that bad, but. So the kiln's still going. Um, it'll be done about 10 o'clock tonight, 10.30, something like that. Sitting there cooking at 680 degrees right now. Just sitting there doing this thing. It's got a graph. You can look at the graph and see exactly where it's at. And it's progression and shows how it ramped up and all that stuff.
If it's done in the morning, maybe I'll shoot a little video of it when I open it up in the morning. Show you all that Kia Cook goodness that's in there. So, something else happened today and uh, finalized the deal <coughs> with Ted on uh, the nachos and the nachos. By the time you see this video, the nachos will be on the website and you'll be able to buy Nacho Maddox right there on the website, which I believe is the only website you can buy them from. You can still, of course, get them directly from Ted. But uh, while you're on the website and uh, getting other stuff, you'll have the option of This side's cleaner than this side. That helped. But the entire surface is cleared, obviously, but... That's better. That's looking much better. The way it's changed, it's almost looks more like a <coughs> point than that. Pick all these deltas off. Oh, no. It just broke on that crystal. <laughs> Doggone it. This little project is... Gotten to be a little bit more involved. I was afraid of that crystal pocket and sure enough it broke out and there's more of it there to break out so I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to do here I wouldn't want to nap a bunch of this. Reminds me a lot of some raw Edwards. <laughs> Imagine this piece was heat treated though, but
Hmm. I'm not thrilled with where this is going. The crystal pocket and the blowout we had on this material down here did not help things at all. Yeah, that crystal pocket has changed things a little bit. And I think we're going to change it from a knife blade to a point and I'm wondering if that's what happened to Jim too because the one I, maybe his was a point pre-shape I don't know but But this one is uh it's kind of thick the base I'm not sure if I'll be able to notch it but I think we're going to change it to just a point rather than a blade well it's still a blade but I think we're going to change the style of the blade more of a dagger style, I guess. This white stuff uh, down there at this end that I was afraid of actually naps pretty nice. Sound like my wife's home. When things go haywire, you just have to adapt to it. Okay, so what are we going to try and do with it? thinking about side notching it flatten out this bottom
as pretty as that blue material is, it's kind of tough. You know what they say though, the prettier the material, the harder it is to nap. the edge here a little bit. Now at this point I'm just kind of winging it here. There you go. Started out I'm just going to make a simple blade and just chip a simple preformed blade but that is not I actually got another pair of glasses I'm going to go get. Hold on. Okay, I got a pair of readers that are a little bit stronger than my uh, prescription glasses. And I think I'm actually going to get a pair of readers. I think these are only 1.75. And uh, I think I'm going to get about a two and a half, something like that. I've really been having a hard time seeing. Uh, I made an a eye appointment, and then I forgot about it, never went in. And then my wife went in there to for her appointment and said, Hey, your husband never showed up. <laughs> Do we need to reschedule him? And I still haven't rescheduled it. And it's the same for my uh, physical therapy. I the insurance company was trying to get me to do something different, and now I'm going right back to the same, or I need to go back to the same place that uh, I was going, or I was originally supposed to go to. So. Now that they've finally finished doing the insurance dance. Yep, yeah, so the nachos will be on the website. If they're not on there by the time you see this, they'll be on there shortly after because uh, I uh, I got to dig them out and take a photograph.
Yeah, I wonder who he got this from. Man, that's... <laughs> that blue is just kind of crunchy, crunchy. I'm not even sure where Ocean Wave Jasper comes from. I guess I should have looked that up. Not sure if that's a U.S. stone or not. Well, I'll be right back because we just blew it, blew the switch again. I got a GFI plug that uh, is giving out on me. Electrician's supposed to be here to come take a material takeoff and all that kind of stuff. On well, he's supposed to be here on Friday, I think. <coughs> And then it'll be the following Friday before he can make it back out here. But, uh, he 
he has another job and uh, he does electrical on the side he is an electrician he works for a, a uh, one of the mills around here and he's an electrician at the mill and he's really good at what he does he went to he actually went to high school with my son and uh Hope I'm not making a mistake switching midstream here. It's kind of feeling like it. Yeah. Stall City. But you know what? I got a solution to that. I didn't tighten that up good enough. All I did is hand tighten it, I guess. I mean, you got to admit that's better than me sitting there grinding on that with a diamond file, right? I actually just got this cordless one um, from Walmart. I went there and they had, I went there with the intentions of buying the Dremel brand. And I went there and this one just felt much more substantial and they were the same price, like super cheap, like 34 bucks or maybe just 37 bucks or something like that, but it wasn't much. And this one had an indicator light for the battery and stuff. So uh, I went with that brand. I'm sure they're all made in China, so it don't really matter, but. Maybe they're not, and I normally would check that, to be honest with you. Because if I can buy American, I do. If that's an option. Now, would I rather not use this? Yeah, but this thing is... on the thick side let's see how do we want to do the base Like I want to concave the base. So Eddie, if you had your heart set on a knife blade, which the preform was, sorry, <laughs> did the best I could. I would work this material again. 
better if I had a bunch of it so I could know how it nasts. Well, I already know that the blue does not like to travel very well. And the white that I was afraid of works great. So, yeah. It does have some fingernail hinges in it so we probably are gonna I'll try and pick some of those off with the razor knife I don't know how many of them I'll be able to get off actually I don't even know where my razor dog on it there one again hold on okay where were we before we were so rudely interrupted <laughs> dang we're an hour into this already good grief I had no idea it was going to take that long. And I didn't even film the grinding. And the grinding took, uh, took a good little while. It's just pretty hard. All right. But it takes what it takes. what it is yeah I've been having a harder and harder time seeing what I'm doing so I definitely need to reschedule my appointment The belt on my wife's rock tumbler broke. Which was kind of a bummer because we didn't have a spare. And it's uh, only the first run on this rock tumbler. But she ordered some from Amazon, had some. But they won't be here till next Friday. And she was at the final stage of a rock tumbling in the part where you, you know, she goes beyond that final stage and then she runs borax on them and uh, I'll be doing a video on that shortly she's pretty good at that rock tumbling stuff and uh, does a real nice job and sometimes she does another step it's ivory soap after that but And this stuff is a little crumbly. Yeah.
I don't know. I'm having a tough time with this one. A really tough time. Weather well, starting to warm up, June bugs are back. I don't know why they call them June bugs. They always show up way before June. So I'm not sure why that is. Yeah. That tip stayed thick. Thicker than I would have wanted it.
Yeah, so uh, four more nap ins this year is the plan. I'll make five for the year. I'd really like to make it up to the fall flint ridge, but it's not likely I'm going to do that this year. As much as I would like to. Should we uh, concave these just a little bit? I mean, we're already in an hour and five minutes, might as well. That top piece just flew right on off there on both sides. It sounds like I'm hearing vehicle traffic, and I don't know where that'd be at. But I definitely hear something. really really fragile it just keeps crumbling away I can't get the can't get the shape that I want because it just keeps crumbling away
I must be hearing the side by side racing around or something somewhere. That must be what I'm hearing. Yeah, I like my little Dremel. I figured I was going to get some comments about using that, but I don't see much difference between using it and using using the diamond file. It's, you guys ain't got to sit here and watch me grind and grind and grind. I mean, the ultimate would be uh, to not get, you know, to not stall the hinges up. All right. This should cover up some of these fingernail hinges and bring the color out in the point. So I guess I'm gonna have to get some more ocean wave jasper to play with and see if what I experienced this time is the same with it. I'd like to. It's probably so expensive they probably don't. Uh, uh, I'd imagine that you probably can't even get uh, percussion slabs of it or anything like that. Maybe you can. I don't know. Never looked into it, but. That is definitely the B side right there. And that's the A side, if you can call it an A side. I don't know, it looks okay. I hope you're happy with it, Eddie. I, uh, I did my best, buddy. got me wondering what I would have done if I would have just used indirect on it but uh, it would have acted any better I was afraid I wouldn't have anything left to it but uh, by the time I zigzagged the edge and stuff but maybe I would have I'm not sure well, another point a little side notch point well it ain't little actually it's pretty good size It's over four inches, four and a quarter or so long. That wax brings out the colors in it. I'll dry some of that shiny go away, but uh, it's pretty. That side is definitely much better than that side. That side just got a little funkiness right here, but it, it's not terrible either, so it's straight. Well, that tip, I was having so much trouble with that tip right there. If I could have got a little bit of that fatness off right there, it would have been better. But all in all, it's not terrible. So there's our point. It took a, took forever, <laughs> an hour and 15 minutes to do a pressure slab, which is unbelievable. But there's the point, and I uh, appreciate you all watching. And uh, be looking out for those nachomatics. And also, the Kia Cook is on there. Spalls, um, they're going to be... All kinds of stuff coming there's going to be more and more and more stuff added to the website and there's going to be more of a focus on that um, there'll probably be half a dozen or more items added here in the next week and then there's going to be a bunch of rock added also so um, yep yep pretty rock we'll catch y'all on the next one keep napping
Hi right, folks, so um, I had a few spots that I wanted to try and fix this morning um, before I sent this out and I exposed some new crystal pockets two in the edge and uh, in two at the base plus that one right there and uh, so things have changed a bit I uh, had I just had a few spots that I just couldn't let go and uh, so I decided to try and fix them and uh, now we end up with with uh, with this style point <laughs> which is a I guess a it's not a Kyokia, but it's a Kyokia style, I guess. Styled up for a Kyokia. It's too big and too thick to be a Kyokia. But uh, it's still pretty. It has definitely changed. I had a lot of challenges with uh, more than normal um, with napping this. But uh, it sure is pretty, though. And that blue is just beautiful. But, uh, man, it's ornery. <laughs> And the crit, there wasn't any crystal pockets, I don't think, in the blue, but they were all down in this material. And part of this on this side had given up um, when I was napping it earlier. It held together here, but uh, yeah, quite a few crystal pockets, but it's still beautiful. So I hope you like it, Eddie, and uh, it's coming your way, buddy. All right, y'all keep napping. See you on the next one.